and welcome to another episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. I'm your host, Fluff, and if you have a listing, pay attention to this part, send it to me via email down below in the description. I get so many messages asking, I have no idea how to submit this reverb listing. Email in the description. Just scroll down, that's all you gotta do. Let's get to the ridiculousness, shall we? Fender Stratocaster 2007 Custom. Ooh, you know, we like customs around here. We the people. Oh boy. I already know where this is going. Um, okay. We, <laughs> we have two single coils and one naked single coil with the coils exposed. That's good. We have a, oh, a carved down headstock that's been poorly painted pink. I don't know why you would want a pink headstock, but okay. Fender tuners. Okay, so it's safe to assume this is probably a Fender. We the people. I'm surprised it's an American flag and not a different kind of flag. Um, okay. A, oh, that's a painted pick guard. Ugh. With the, why, what's with the pink? Also, that that uh, that cover is warped. Okay, this is probably a, an affinity affinity Squire Strat. I'm guessing. And um, that's all the pictures there is. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the description says. I have a custom Fender Stratocaster for sale here that plays and sounds as a Stratocaster should. This is a genuine Fender Stratocaster neck you see there. Will be packed securely for safe shipping. Okay, well. The only thing that says Fender is the tuners. So I don't really know what this guitar is, but 450 bucks seems a little steep because it's been painted and just ran into the ground. But okay, we the people strat, 450 bucks? No. Next listing. Ah, yes, more Juicy Guitars goodness. Juicy Guitar, this is from, this is the same company that we had in the last episode, in case you uh, don't remember. Juicy Guitars Medusa, 2021. Whoa. <laughs> Again, someone reach out to this guy. I need what he's on. What? Oh, that, these are the only photos? Two photos? <sighs> that reflection of the, the gloss of the, the ring makes it look like the screw is sticking up. Oh no, it is sticking up. It totally, because look at the other side. The pickup screws aren't even in all the way. What the heck? Oh my goodness. This guitar, Juicy Guitars, cool guitars for cool people. I guess I'm uncool. This is the Medusa Bright model. As you see, it's an amazing piece of art as well as an instrument. This guitar is made out of solid mahogany wood and carved as a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. Man, I bet that guitar is heavy. How's your EMG passive pickup, all brass hardware all around? There's no plastic on this guitar, no expenses are spared. The pickup rings are plastic and the guitar, the, the pickups are plastic. You can't say there's no plastic. This is a wild ass guitar. And there's only two photos. Look at that stain job, it's quality. That is a good stain job right there. It's relic stained. That's what it is, yeah. I mean, that's a crazy guitar, I'll give you that. That is ridiculous, $2,400? No, you're crazy. Yeah, you sub crazy these used to guitars. Oceanside, California, give me that factory tour, bro. Oh man, that's crazier than the last one. Limited edition guitar, guys, 2,400 bucks. Better get on it. Next listing, Return of the Wah. What, 300 bucks for this? Is that, oh, is that Bruce Lee or a karate guy? All right, so, I, oh, okay, I get it. So it's it's Return of the Whoa or something. Also, that feels borderline racist. I don't, I don't know about that. Sense, resonance, and decay, what is this? Okay, so I have my assortment of colored knobs. Uh, he's basically clear-coated epoxied this. This is some kind of, uh, okay, this guitar pedal is a modified Ottawa, similar to the Snow White Ottawa with enhanced capabilities. This pedal is capable of guitar and bass 
guitar auto off slash voltage control filter. I don't see any knobs or controls on it. I see labels for some, but I don't see anything on top. I don't, and it's 300 bucks. What? For that? Two pictures? Come on. This must be just the housing and you haven't even put it together yet? Or it's the guts of another pedal and you're just rehousing it and charging $300 for it? Bro, get out of here with your wah. Bruce Lee would be ashamed. Next listing. Certificate of Authenticity for the Marshall 1959 Randy Rhodes 2008 Limited Edition Head. Wait. This is a certificate of authenticity that would come with the amp. Obviously the amplifier itself is not listed here. Okay, so the, wait, why would you want, where's the amp that this came with? Was it destroyed? Why would you want a certificate of authenticity when you don't even have, I have so many questions. It is signed by, by Jim Marshall, which is cool. That seems really weird to me and who would have an actual Randy Rhodes Marshall head and not have the, the COA. So many questions. This was $200 when I initially uh, decided to put this on the uh, on on the, the video here. Now it's $100, it's half off guys, $100 for a Jim Marshall signed 1959 RR Randy Rhodes Signature Series Super Lead 100 watt head, COA. Uh, no. Moving on. Epiphone limited edition Lee Malia RD custom artisan outfit in Walnut. $3,000 for an Epiphone? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What? These aren't that rare. Bro. These aren't that rare? Epiphone, limited edition, maple top, mahogany back, slim neck. It's minty. Still has the plastic cellophane and, inf and informative ring around the coil tapping knob. Okay. Explain to me why this is 3000 bucks. Guitars in St. Petersburg, Florida. Man, you high. You so high. Cool guitar. Cool guitar. I, I should have bought one when they were readily available. Okay, 3,000 bucks, that's just that's just crazy. Cool guitar, not cool price. Guitars in St. Petersburg, Florida. Moving on. Ibanez Iceman ICT 700, 2008, 2012 system of a down. Huh? Oh, mm hmm. So, so Darian from System of a Down used to have his father paint some of his guitars, and I know some of them are released in a limited capacity. I don't think this is one of those guitars. It's an ICT 700, and it didn't have those inlays or headstock, or uh, those inlays rather. Feel free to make an offer on this Ibanez ICT 700 that was custom painted to match one of Darian's guitars i think this would be a great guitar for a diehard system of a down fan or someone that makes youtube covers of system of a down songs pretty sure in this guitar is we re rewired after painting okay so someone painted their ict 700 now for reference the ibanez ict 700 if i remember correctly was like 800 dollars new it's less than a thousand dollars new when they were on sweetwater and someone painted this guitar and then are now selling. Also, I will point out that this guitar is beat. I mean, this thing has been played and it's dinged and scratched and very dusty. Hmm. Yeah, it's an X series. Okay, yeah, so uh, wait, wait, so you painted a guitar to look like someone else's and you want $4,000 for it, but you're accepting offers. Um, <laughs> what, 
what on earth makes that worth four thousand dollars? And if you are taking offers and want, because your your uh, your description indicates that, uh, make me an offer. A friendly reminder that all sales are final. No returns will be accepted. Uh, fuck you. Th that's so dumb. You painted a, a seven hundred dollar guitar. Now I want four thousand dollars for it. Okay, bro. No. Next listing. Last but not least, we have a One Control SG 2019 in natural. I don't what in the God's name is this? Was this photo taken in 1962? What a potato! Can is this? Are th is this really a modern photo? What is this guitar? Oh, <laughs> this is hundred percent homemade. This is definitely a homemade guitar. I got this off of, let's see, let's zoom in here a little bit. I got this off of eBay about two years ago. Plays good, sounds good. I don't know much about it. Set neck walnut and maple about 11 pounds. Please ask any questions you may have. Thank you for looking. So this is a homemade 11 pound guitar. I mean, the price isn't ridiculous, a hundred bucks, okay. I wouldn't call it an SG though, but I mean, it's a homemade guitar. That is a ridiculous looking guitar though. Jeez. That this like this, I mean, not totally hating on it. The aesthetic's cool. And you know, this was probably like a dude, someone crushed like a high school, you know, final or something like that in wood shop or something like that. That's what this reminds me of. You know, there's Mojo, okay. Ooh, that's ugly though. It looks like a, a children's drawing and someone's like, I'm gonna use that. <sighs> yeah, that's 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 pretty crazy. 100 bucks though. I mean, not bad. And that does it for this episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listing. If you would like to submit your own Ridiculous Reverb Listing, there is an email down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something, and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.